friends, this is Jackie from Keep It Simple Stickers, and we are here today to go over my September TBR to be read. If you're interested in knowing what I'll be reading this month, then just keep watching. All right, so a lot of you are probably here because you have watched my plan with me's and or my budget with me's. Thank you so much for coming back and watching a new video to my channel, which is my September TBR list. Now, if you also follow me on Instagram, then you know that I do a weekly, every Sunday book check-in, what I like to call book check-in time, where I will go over all the books that I have read that week and sometimes tell you about what I'm planning on reading for the current week. I thought to kind of streamline that a little bit, I would tell you what I'm reading for the month. Um, this is a tentative TBR. I am typically a mood reader and I also am part of the Book Democracy on Facebook. And with the Book Democracy, you can sign up each and every month for a book bingo board or what I opt for, a book tic-tac-toe board. Um, a book tic-tac-toe board only has nine prompts, whereas the book t bingo, I believe, has 25. So um, because I have two small children and I run my own Etsy shop and I'm a stay-at-home mom, I don't have time to, to try and read 25 different books. Not that you have to um, to get a bingo, but um, the book Tic-Tac-Toe is much more manageable for me and my schedule. So I'm hoping that some of these books fit into that prompt, um, the prompts that I get from my book Tic-Tac-Toe board. I'm currently filming this, I believe, on the 29th. Um, so I don't have my tic-tac-toe board yet, but this is what I'm tentatively planning on reading. So let's just get started. Okay, the first book on my second, this is in no particular order, is Janet Ivan Ivanovich's Curious Minds. And I picked this book up from a library book sale. And this is a night and moon novel. That's what it says right there. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare there. I don't know anything about this series, um, but I do know about Janet Ivanovich's Stephanie Plum series, and I am up to current with all, I believe, 26 different books in that series. I started reading that series back in college, so, what, 15 years ago now, and I really do enjoy them. I will admit that there is a certain formula or plot that those books like to um, capitalize on, I suppose I'd say. Um, so I'm interested in, in reading this one. So it sounds like there is a main character named Emerson Knight. And he says here he's introverted, eccentric, handsome. And he'd probably be homeless, interested already. Um, this, Janet Vodovich's books from, from the Stephanie Plum series and other books that I've read from her, they are um, adult romance kind of comedy a little bit. Um, so I'm interested in reading this. I believe this is the first in a series. Um, I don't know if there's any other books, but I definitely want to tackle this one. Okay, the second one that I'm reading a lot of people know about, and that is Kristen Hanna's The Nightingale. Um, and this is a historical fiction text set in World War II, and I believe that it follows a couple of different sisters and their experiences um, before, during, and perhaps probably after uh, World War II. I'm really interested in reading this. This is a chunky book. It has over 500 pages to it. Um, I also am going to be listening to this on audio. The third book on my list is Christina Lauren's Autobiography, and this is a male, I believe, male-male romance. Um, about a boy named Tanner who moves from California to Utah and the area that he moves to in Utah is predominantly Mormon. So he is having some conflict with his sexuality and um, building relationships and things like that until he meets another young boy there in the community. And then a relationship, I believe, flourishes between those two young men. I'm super excited to read this book. It's been on my TBR for quite a while. Um, I've had it out from the library for quite a while. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Um, I've, I've, I have re, rechecked it out a couple of times. So I really want to get to this. I recently read The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, and I loved it. I think it was a great contemporary. Um, I'm hoping that this is just as good. I've heard really good things about this book. So I'm certainly, certainly excited 
to finally read it. And it's not too terribly long. The, um, the text there, it, it's, I think it will be easy for me to read and to get through. So I'm excited to read that. Let's see. I was at, this is the fourth one. Yep. The fourth book I just recently checked out. This is A Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I have heard so many people on booktube talk about this book. From what I know, it is a female character who runs an enchanted library and something within that library, I don't know if it comes alive or comes out of a book or something like that. And she is in charge of taking care of whatever problem comes out of the book. I'm super excited. I've heard really good things about this book. Um, I believe this is a young adult fantasy, which I am getting more into as I've been reading more books in 2019 young adult fantasy and sci-fi, if I were to go on a young adult route, that's kind of where I'm pulled towards. However, I'm currently reading right now um, a young adult contemporary that I am liking. Um, so hopefully, maybe, maybe I'll start reading more young adult across all genres. I don't know, but I'm really excited to read this one. I've heard really good things about it. And I'm hoping this might be the first one that I read in September. Probably my second, because my first one is going to be War Cross by Marie Lu. This is Darshell over at um, Books and Planners, her September book club pick. It is a young adult sci-fi, I believe, that follows our main character, Emika. She is a bounty hunter, and somehow she gets involved with a video game, and she is transported into the video game, and of course, adventures and problems. Um, arise from that from that event going into the video game. So I'm super excited to read this. This came in Darshell's very first Books and Planners book subscription box, which was rainbow theme. Perfect, I think, that fits with this cover. And I'm really excited to read this book. The last book on my um, TBR is Incubus Dreams, and that is, I believe, the 12th book. If I can figure it out on how to do it, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, I'm reading that on my Kindle because my library actually does not have that book as a physical book, which is interesting. Um, but I'm excited to read it. I believe, like I said, it's the 12th book in the Anita Blake series. And Anita Blake series is a vampire adult paranormal series that deals with Anita Blake, who is a, a necromancer, and her relationships with vampires, werewolves, various other shapeshifters like leopards, things like that, and I'm excited to continue on with that series. I actually got back into it through Darshell back in May with her Finishes series um, readathon, and I'm excited to get to the next book. So those five, six books are my TBR this month. I'm hoping that I get to them because some of them are kind of chunky, and I'm hoping a lot of them do fit into my book tic-tac-toe board. If they don't, no problem. I'm still planning on reading them. All right, my friends, I think that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching this very first face-to-face -face video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below. Bye-bye, friends.